Hey there, it's Joe. So uh, let's talk about just-in-time manufacturing and how that's trying to uh, save inventory costs and how that relates to the cost of making the parts in the first place, right? Because we all know that setting something up and making the parts, it's expensive. And you always wanna make as many as you can uh, because cycle time is cheap compared to uh, setup time, right? So the more you make, the cheaper that part's gonna be. And with just-in-time manufacturing, it's always trying to uh, keep that quantity down. Um, now, there, there is a balancing point, I think, between your inventory and um, producing as many as you can, right? So let's just, uh, I'm gonna start out with an example here at a fixed price to explain what just-in-time manufacturing is trying to accomplish um, and then see how that relates to uh, the cost of making parts at different quantities. So basically, let's say you got this widget, right? You sell 120 of them a year, okay? And with just-in-time manufacturing, they only want to have a one-month supply at a time. They don't want a one-year supply. Now, what they're trying to do there is if that price is fixed, right, you only have to put out enough money to buy um, 10 of those a month, right? So then that money, you only buy 10 a month every month, and you're constantly making money on that original $10, well, that original amount that you put out for making 10, 10 of these things, right? And so you make over the course of a year profit on 120 of those widgets when you only originally put out money for 10 of those widgets, right? Whereas if you made a year's supply at once, okay, then you have to put out enough money to make 120 of those, carry that inventory for a year, and you make profit on uh, those 120 widgets. So, you make the same amount of money over the course of a year with a twelfth the expense, right? So then you can take that extra money that you're not spending on stuff, put it into other products, other things, and make money on that. So, that's what just-in-time manufacturing is trying to accomplish, okay? Uh, you have less money out there, you can diversify into more products and make more money over the course of a year, okay? You're, you don't have to carry all that inventory. Inventory is expensive, and inventory costs you uh, potential business and um, profit, okay? But now there's a balancing point here, right? Let's say this thing costs like 50 bucks. You're selling it for 50 bucks, right? And if you make 120 of them, it costs you 10 bucks, okay? Well, there you go. You're making 40 bucks right there off of each widget. But now let's say you only make 10 of them, right? Well, then you got more setup time per part, so those parts are gonna be more expensive. So instead of costing you 10 bucks a part, okay, it's gonna cost you 30, 40 bucks a part because that manufacturer is gonna need to charge for that setup time and they have less cycle time, right? So now you're making, I don't know, 10 or 20 bucks a part instead of your 40 bucks a part, okay? So you got two lines there, right? And you need to do the graph on that and see where they intersect on the cost of carrying inventory versus the additional cost of making less parts, okay? And that's what these smaller manufacturers that have lower quantity orders need to factor in, okay? Their graph is going to be pretty sharp. Now, some of these companies that buy stuff that's already mass produced, um, there's not gonna be much of a difference in their orders, right? It's just whatever the distributor decides to charge them. Um, but 
on uh, when you're ordering 10 parts, 100 parts, 1,000 parts, um, there's going to be quite a bit of difference um, in there. So you really need to, if you want to do that, you know, negotiate, talk with your manufacturer, find out what those different price points are, find out how much you sell per year, and where the line intersects for you. Okay, so that's my thoughts on it. Uh, take it easy and have a good one.